to to piss off my dad, and I did it at 16. But I kind of started when when I met him, and he had tattoos, and I was like, "Ooh, bad boy." But I wanted to get a tattoo. <laughs> completely opposite direction. <laughs> I don't know, I've always liked him. Seeing bands that I like, and seeing them and them, and just all of them having tattoos and shit. I just really like the rebellion of it. Yeah. Just the art, really. I really like the art of it. How it's on there forever. <laughs> I didn't really want to. I just got drunk one night with Chance. <laughs> And he bought that shitty little set, and I let him do a diamond on my arm. <laughs> the first one, I guess, was obviously just because I was fucking stupid. But everything ever since then has just been cover-ups. Well, the one was a cover-up, but that's the reason why I started on my arm. But I don't know. It wasn't a point of rebellion. And there was a collection of people who were getting their pet tattoos. And Grandfather on my mom's side, had that same tattoo on his, uh... Every text message that we send and every time we get off the phone, she always says, to the moon and back. My grandfather that pretty much raised me while my parents were at work and everything, just watched westerns and stuff exclusively. Uh, Who is make the same mistakes that you once were yeah, made of? The disco, and that's where this girl in the flower... Forgive and forget. So... Just a little, a little <laughs> reminder. I don't take shit too seriously. <laughs> oh yeah, I've gotten so much shit. Parents especially, parents and my sisters. I remember my, I had my first tattoo from my dad, and it was during the summer, and I wore long sleeves because it was down at the forearm. So it was kind of weird because I was wearing long sleeves and it was really hot outside. So my like I remember showing him and he just shook his head and walked away and I was like Shit. there's no turning back now. Like I just I wanted to like get the worst spot out of the way, like the most showing spot out of the way and that was a forearm. Because I knew I was gonna be full. Like I knew I was gonna be coming in the show. That's what yeah. I wanted. My dad was threatening to basically sob it and off. We got duped by her, so my mission was a success. My aunt always says that she'll she'll pay if I ever want to remove. <laughs> After I've gotten all the ones that I have now, people that I work with were like, "Yeah, I used to think you were a freak because you had that that bite mark on your arm," but. I've always been a dick, so <laughs> who's got the sick reaction? <laughs> I don't think people have treated me differently, like, because I'm still the same person, but, like, I'm not, like, I'm really nice, but I feel like when they first, like, see me, they think I'm going to be, like, this total, I don't know, weird, creepy girl with tattoos. Yeah. But I'm just like, hello! And I'm like, oh, okay. They ask what, they, they're interested in it more than they're, like, think that I'm, like, weird or, like, standoffish from me. From, yeah. Oh yeah, the girls look at me different now, in a okay. good way. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's gotten worse, like, with progression, like, seems like that's all, like, some girls care about, I think. Before tattoos, like, I wasn't the talk of the town for the women, but nowadays, like, yeah, they're just all over my junk, really, <laughs> it's weird, like, I just think it's awkward. Because I never had that happen to me before until tattoos. Pretty sure my tattoos are the reason why my general managers are too scared to shake my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Not so much the feeling, but like you see someone else's and you're like, that's badass, and like, wow, I'd like to get something like that, and just go with it. And, you know, people people ask them, the biggest question is, does it hurt? Fuck yeah, it hurts. <laughs> but if anyone tells you it doesn't hurt, they're they're lying. Um, I haven't gotten one in like two or three months, and I really like I really want to get one. So I guess that's. But like, I don't know. Just like sitting here and just being like, man, sure wish I was getting tattooed. That's 
I just want more because I like collecting them. I don't fucking like getting them. I don't like getting them because they hurt a ton. <laughs> and I'm a little, little baby. Does it hurt? I just ask questions about it. What do you think? After the <laughs> first one, I think three weeks later, <clears throat> I got another one. That guy. And then during this, uh, the fall, when I went to Vincennes, I got some right there, and then I couldn't get any more because I went to college and I didn't have any money. Yeah. <laughs> then when I came back, I basically just did this whole sleeve, like tattoo a week. It just got addicting, and I just didn't stop really. And then I had to stop for money reasons for school. Um, I mean, I don't know. I kind of look at everyone that has tattoos the same, but like when you see <laughs> like some big bitch that has a, <laughs> a giant butterfly that looks like a pterodactyl stretched across her back, you're just like, God, why would you ever? Why would you want to do that? You know, it just looks awful. And then, like you see people that have the same style as yourself, you're just like right on. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I mean I feel like there's I feel like there's a big difference in why people get tattoos, you know, like you see like these little emo kids that have shitty tattoos and they wanna show them off every chance they get. It's like you're gonna regret that in ten years. I just think tattoos in general are great. Like there's some that I think are cheesy, but I don't disrespect them. Like, I won't say anything to their face about it, like someone that's got like a tribal band on their arm. And like, oh yeah, check out the sweet tribal band. I was like, oh yeah, cool, you know, I love tattoos. Like, any tattoo, I love it. I just think that anything someone has, like, they probably have the same mindset I do. Like, I don't really care what people think about it. Like, people on the street, I don't care what they think about, like, my tattoos and stuff. I feel like it's like a middle finger out to like high society people, like oh, you know, people that don't like tattoos or look down on people that have them, see them as like uh, thugs. I see it as like a middle finger out to them. I, mean, I just see it as a rebellion against it. I just don't like when people have like the really bad tattoos and they try to talk to me. I, I don't pull up to Mercedes Benz's in my Thunderbird and talk cars. The older ladies that I talk to, that they'll see me just the same way as they'd see Joe with, well, they'd see me just as well as they see, like, Bob with Michelle on their neck. Like, that I'm grouped into this same thing when I'm, I feel like I'm an upstanding citizen versus their metrical life. That's something I'm really drunk, but I think it's the evolution of individualism. I feel like you have been, uh, I really don't know what they did in the 50s, but like, let's say like in the 70s, it was like, the men was like, their men were, were growing their hair long, and women were wearing jeans and burning their bra and stuff, and in the 80s and stuff, it was mohawks and things and I just think, I don't know, I just think that right now it's the, it's the only thing that we can do to like make ourselves stand out. And I feel like in uh, like my children or, you know, our children, that we're going to have something else, something else that's probably even more severe than ha tattoos. I really don't know what it could be, voluntary amputations, but... I don't, uh, I don't know. This guy's theory was the reason why we got tattoos now, as a, as a, as a, on the whole, it was rebellion. And he feels like the next generation, they're gonna grow up like seeing all of their authority figures with tattoos. They're gonna see like their teachers with like butterflies on their ankles or their parents with, you know, their, you know, names on their whatsoever, whatever. And they're not gonna see that as a point of a rebellion, so they're not gonna get them. They're just gonna be like, ah, you know, tattoos are a thing. <laughs> You're gonna be an old man with a pizza slice and a pokeball on your leg. <laughs>
Hell yeah! That should end the video. <laughs> it might. <laughs> You want a beer? If there's one thing I want you to take away from this, Pokemon's up there. Don't put that on the video. <laughs> oh, God. We got it recorded now. Really? <laughs> Your name.